Hey everyone, it's Rochelle back with Lose Eating Out on Keto. And in this video, what I have for you is uh, a way to make a recipe that I have another video on. So a few weeks ago, I made a carnivore uh, waffle in the waffle maker. I made a series of them and I made that into a video. But I'm, what I'm looking to do now is take that same recipe and bake it and see if I can get the same result out of the oven that I can um, from the waffle maker with the idea being I don't have to take the time of making one waffle after another that I just throw the whole mixture in the oven and get them all at once. So that's um, um, that's what I'm attempting to do and I want to know if I get the same bread-like texture out of this because this is one of my favorite clean keto items and if I can create in the oven what I'm getting with the waffle maker because I'm to make these all at once I, I think is more efficient um, I find it easier so that's what I'm going for so what I did is I browned uh, a pound of ground beef and then I took eight eggs and I scrambled them poured the eggs into the greased um, casserole dish here and just added the browned ground beef and then I seasoned it with salt and pepper. In fact, it probably could use a little more. And I've got a preheated oven here to 350. So I'm gonna pop this in and bake this for 30 minutes. And I did check to see if anybody else had a recipe like this and, you know, a, a, an oven bake like this. And I didn't find any. Um, be, that doesn't have uh, cheese in it and I'm doing clean keto I'm not doing dairy so um, so anyways we'll see what we get here but that's what I'm going for okay so I'm gonna pop this in for 30 minutes and I'll see you back in the next segment we'll see what we've got okay guys we're back in the segment and this took 45 minutes not 30 so I had to put it back on for um, 15 minutes and this is what we've got. So I'm gonna try and take this out of, out of here because I want it to cool quickly um, and see if I put it on here and then cut it. The, the truth is I could even bake this longer if I wanted to. I still got the oven on if as I take this out, if I feel it needs um, more time if there's any liquid on the bottom, but I'll tell you, this is pretty firm. And so it just comes out real nicely. Look at that, I love it. Okay, so let's put this here. I don't know, it doesn't, I don't know, we'll see about the texture. I, I shouldn't um, react right away. I was gonna say it doesn't seem like um, the waffle. This is a little more brown than this. But anyways, let's let's cut it and let's see what we've got. And I'm gonna turn off the oven because I'm not I don't think I'm gonna need that. Okay, so like I said, this should make four waffles, so I'm just intending to cut this into fours. My measurements might be off there. This definitely is bigger than that side, isn't it? Yeah, not too bad. I guess this just looks fluffier for some reason. Okay, well, let's transfer this to a plate and you can see it's, it's steaming. I'm gonna do a little more salt. I always put salt when I make my carnivore waffles. I always top it when I add butter. I always put a little salt on it. So today's a clean keto day for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of butter on this. I was traveling yesterday, I flew back this morning and I am starving. I had left my, um, I had meal prepped, turkey sandwich and my cookies and I left.
Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm not sure that the, the uh, batteries died, so I'm not sure where the sound cut out. But what I was saying is, on the edge, edges of this, you have the texture that you would get out of the waffle maker. But in the middle, you can see that? That's more like egg. So this doesn't quite replicate the, uh, the waffle maker. So with the waffle maker, I can use that as toast. I can put my scrambled eggs on that. That is not the case with this. So what I wondered is if I had put these in the oven for any longer, if I would get that result. But I just had the thought, what if I pop these in the air fryer? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put these in the air fryer for a couple minutes and see what I get. Okay, I'll be back in the next segment and show you that. Okay, I'm back. I just popped these in the air fryer for just a couple of minutes. I didn't want to go too long because I know the air fryer can really um, dry things out. So, you see that it looks a little more bready, but doesn't feel that way. So let's, let's give these a try. I'm leaning towards the conclusion of... Um, if you want a bread-like texture with this, that you need to um, make these in the waffle maker. And that this may be a, a different meal altogether because the texture um, is different. So here we go. Yep, definitely a different texture. So, here's the conclusion. I tried to do this as an easy way to make the carnivore waffles on my clean keto days. So that rather than one by one to make four or eight, I can just put a whole casserole dish in. But the reality is, this isn't bread-like. So with the one made in the waffle maker, I can use that as bread, like I said. I could put my scrambled eggs on it and have it that way. Um, this, I can't do that. So this is like a breakfast casserole. So, um, so it, is, it is a good meal idea. Um, it is an easy way to make this, and you can make it ahead and reheat it. Um, so if you don't have a waffle maker, um, or you don't have time to, um, you know, make each waffle, you can just pop this in the oven if you don't care if it's bread-like or not. And then if you do, then you've got the alternative. So I gave it a shot. It didn't come out quite like I had hoped, but um, I did plan on my clean keto today, day today to have um, the eggs with the ground beef. And this actually um, did that efficiently for me, so I'm happy about that. I'm particularly hungry today. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I uh, was out of town. I flew out yesterday morning very early and flew back very early this morning. And stupid me who prepared my lunch to take with me, my PSMF lunch, I left it behind. So I had the cookies, I had a turkey sandwich, and I left it behind. So I wound up having to get Five Guys Burger and then had a New York Strip for dinner. So it turned into a clean keto day. For me yesterday rather than PSMF. But because of all that, I don't know a lot of travel and, and whatnot. I was particularly hungry this morning and wanted my eggs and, and ground beef. And so that's what gave me the idea to, to attempt to do this and see if I could replicate what I'd get with the waffle maker. But different texture, still delicious. So, so there you have it. Um, maybe... Um, you know, maybe you'll find a, a use for for this, but I'd call this a, a breakfast a breakfast casserole. Okay, and as always, given the way I'm currently eating, there's no dairy in this. Okay, so very clean keto. All right, I'll see you in the next uh, video. Hey guys, in this video, I am going to 
uh, meal prep uh, for my keto days. So I am going to make my ground beef and egg um, casserole. This is the one that I did. It's the same recipe I did with the waffles that I then baked in the oven uh, and concluded you don't get the same a bread type texture that you do if you make them as waffles. But I'm enjoying this nonetheless. And um, so I had this twice last week. And what I'm going to do is I want to see if I can do this as like a set it and forget it. So I've got my um, crock pot out that I am going to um, make use of. And why is this not on? Um, that I'm going to make use of. And, uh, and so let me walk you through this real quick. So I meal prepped um, because I knew I was going to have this um, this week. So I meal prepped. This is a pound of my 95.5 lean ground beef that, uh, that I made yesterday. So I've got this already ready to go. And I'm making a variation to, to this. You may have seen my video where I was covering some um, keto products at local gro grocery store. And I had shared with you the duck eggs that I had picked up, and I've never had them before. But, uh, but I'm going to use them in this recipe. Other times I've made, I use chicken eggs, but I'm going to go ahead and use this. So these are all six of the duck eggs that I have mixed up in here. So I'm going to use the duck eggs and then the pound of lean ground beef. And like I said, this is just a meal prep for, um, for my keto days. I have this as like, like a slice of bread. I put a little butter on it. I just find this so satisfying, so delicious. Um, and if you saw my progress video, you saw I had this twice last week and this was, uh, um, you know, that's, that's 16 eggs consumed over two days. So it's eight eggs and, and one casserole and I had the casserole twice. So I had it for two meals. Um, so in a given day, I have half the casserole as meal one and then the other half as meal two. And that equates to eight ounces of the ground beef and then four eggs at each meal. So a pound and eight eggs. And then I do two tablespoons of butter at each sitting. So it's four tablespoons of butter total for the day. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pour my, uh, scrambled, my beaten eggs in here. And then I'm going to just put in the ground beef and I'm going to season this and then cover it. And I, I don't know how long this is going to take and I'm cooking it on high. So I don't know if this is going to be four hours, eight hours, what? I'm, I'm kind of curious because I like this concept of set it and forget it, especially as, you know, the, the nicer weather. So I go golfing or something to have this set and then come back and have it have it ready. Um, is very uh, appealing to me. Okay, so the meat has all been added. And then I'm just going to add salt and pepper to this. I already added salt and pepper to the beef when I made it, but um, but it needs it needs more. Okay. So I've got my Redmond salt here. So we've got that. Now we'll hit it with some pepper and then I'll cover it and we'll see. And I'm curious to know, is this going to come out like a bread texture? But I was thinking that I have this um, shape of my slow cooker. So give it a try, because one thing I didn't put on um, film last week when I had these um, casseroles is I made this, outside of the casserole dish, the one that I filmed, I made this in my Pyrex, which is about the size of this, maybe it's a little bit bigger, to see that if it was thinner and more surface area, if, if baking in the oven came out as bread, as the bread texture like the um, waffle maker, and the answer was no. 
it was pretty much the same as in the smaller, um, the same texture as in the smaller casserole dish. So it was a little thinner, but still the same texture. So anyways, I'm going to set this. I'll come back when this is done. And uh, I'll let you know how long it took and, and how it comes out. Okay, I'll see you back then. Okay, I'm back in this segment. It's been um, six hours. So the ground beef and egg casserole appears to be done. So I'm going to take it out. Actually, I should turn this off. So I'm going to put it on this cutting board here, and I believe that this is just going to come out in one piece because it seems pretty. And of course, I just split it. Um, let me see if I get a bigger spatula here. I mean, I could cut it, but I wanted to take it out in one whole piece. Damn it. I should just lift it out and then slide it out. Let me try that. There we go. Okay. So there we have it. And so like I said, I'm just meal prepping. So I'm going to put this in the fridge, but I wanted to show it to you what it was like um, right out of the, the crock pot, the slow cooker. So that's how, that's how thick it is. It's the thinnest one I've made yet. So I'm just going to let this cool. And, uh, and then once it's cool, I'm going to store it in the refrigerator and then I'll have it for my, um, one of my non-keto days this week. But, uh, but I, I'm liking how it came out. Um, I won't know what the texture is like until I try it, but so far I'm liking this in comparison to the oven. And, and I'm still thinking that the waffle maker is the only way that's going to produce this recipe more like a bread texture. Um, but regardless, this was super convenient because all I did was whip up some eggs. I had browned the ground beef and just threw it in here and let it sit on high. for. Um, and I d did a nonstick spray in the, in the uh, crock pot pan. I did want to mention that and uh, the pot and then um, and then just threw this in here with some salt and pepper and uh, cooked on high for six hours. So there you have it. I'll come back in the next segment when I'm uh, ready to eat this. But what I'm gonna do, is, as I said, I'm gonna let it cool on the counter here and then I'm gonna uh, store it in the refrigerator, I guess in a, um, probably in a Ziploc bag. And then I'll come back in the next segment when I'm ready to consume it and um, give you the final uh, verdict, okay? I'll see you back then. Okay, we're back in this segment. Uh, I mentioned to you that when I had the um, egg and ground beef casserole um, that I made in the slow cooker, when I tried that and see if it's bread-like, that I'd bring you along and let you know that. So... I've had this stored in the refrigerator. I cut it into four four pieces. I microwaved this for two minutes. And I've taken one of the pieces and I added just a little bit, a half a tablespoon of butter and some salt. And I'll show this to you. So I think you can see that. Um, but I can tell you, I mean, it's delicious, but I can tell you this is not a bread texture. So it just, it's proven that if you want a bread texture with this recipe, 
the two eggs beaten, um, and the four ounces of ground uh, cooked ground browned ground beef. Throw that into a waffle maker. That's the only way to get it like a bread-like texture that you could say put eggs on it um, to use as like a toast replacement or a sandwich replacement, etc. Um, but yeah, this is delicious, but it is not bread-like. This is pretty much the same as what you get when you bake it in the oven. So wanted to let you know that. Now I have one other idea, and I may make a separate um, video for this. But if you've seen my uh, large egg white bites, you know I made them in this hamburger silicone mold. So I'm thinking I'm going to make this, the eggs and the four ounces of ground beef in here. And I, I don't know, I doubt the mixture will fit into one of these, so I may have to reduce it a bit. But I do plan to use this to make the whole egg ground beef um, egg bites so that I have them for my clean keto days. And then the egg whites and the chicken breakfast sausage as my um, PSMF days. But anyways, I just wanted to come back and show you that this is delicious. If you want this, you know, use the crock pot to set it and forget it, but you're not gonna get um, a bread texture. Okay, so this is convenient for me. I'll meal prep this the way I did, but uh, but I'll use the waffle maker when I want a bread texture. Okay, um, so that's all. I'll see you in the next video.